An experienced drone enthusiast decided to explore a new area. As he flew his drone, he noticed a small door on top of a nearby mountain. Intrigued, he flew the drone closer to investigate. As he zoomed in, he saw that the door was very tiny and curiosity got the better of him. John decided to climb up the rocky mountain to take a closer look, but little did he know that was a very, very bad decision. Having reached the top, standing in front of the little wooden door, certain doubts started creeping on him. Should he have called someone to back him up? What if whatever was inside was dangerous or wanted to hurt him? However, his curiosity got the better of him and John slowly reached for the doorknob. After opening the door, all John could spot was a completely dark tunnel. John had explored a lot of dark caves, but this one seemed a little different. Something was off about this one, but John couldn't put his finger on it. Luckily, he'd brought his flashlight, making sure he could see something. Shining the light upon the cave walls made John shiver in his skin. He saw ancient old markings on the wall. He read about these markings before in very old tales and immediately realized he was in grave danger. These markings weren't meant for any human to see. He needed to get out of here quickly. John had always been an adventurous person. He loved to explore new places, and his passion for drone photography had taken him to some of the most breathtaking locations in the world. Capturing stunning aerial footage, it always impressed his friends. But nothing could have prepared him for what he was about to discover. It all started on a sunny afternoon when John was flying his drone over a rocky mountain range. He'd been searching for the perfect shot, something that would capture the essence of the rugged terrain. As his drone flew higher, John noticed something particular. There was a tiny door on top of one of the highest peaks and he couldn't believe his eyes. John knew he had to get a closer look. He packed his backpack, grabbed his drone, and set off on a journey to the mountain. As he approached the base, he realized that the climb was going to be more challenging than he'd anticipated. The rocks were slippery and the climb was steep. He had to be careful not to lose his footing and fall. The climb started without any struggle, but as he continued to climb, the wind began to pick up, and John struggled to keep his balance. The higher he climbed, the colder and windier it got. John had to pause for a second to put on his gloves when suddenly something happened. An eagle swooped down from the sky attacking him. John was taken aback by the sudden assault and he stumbled backward, almost losing his grip on the mountain. He managed to dodge the eagle's sharp talons within an inch and climbed to a small hole in the mountain. There he waited until the eagle was gone. After a few minutes, John decided to keep on climbing. He had to reach the top before the sun started to set. He looked at the sun and guessed he would probably have a little more than three hours until it would start to get dark so he had to hurry up. But then he realized something. Climbing up the mountain was hard, but getting down was even harder. John suddenly worried if he'd had enough time to get down. There was no way he could maneuver down the steep mountain in the dark. He had to make a very important decision, keep going or go back. But John was no quitter. He took a deep breath in and climbed the last part as fast as he could. After a few more minutes of climbing, John finally made it to the top of the mountain. He was out of breath and covered in sweat, but the sight of the tiny door made it all worth it. He set his drone down and approached the edge, feeling a sense of excitement and nervousness all at once. He looked around and took in the beautiful view. He never climbed a mountain so high as this one. Then he turned around to face the door. He would finally see what hid behind it. John reached for the doorknob and pulled the door open. As soon as he stepped inside, John felt a cold shiver run down his spine. He was surrounded by complete darkness and he couldn't see anything. His heart began to race and he started to wonder if he'd made a mistake by coming here alone. John took a deep breath and reached for his flashlight. He clicked it on and shone the light around the small room. At first glance, it appeared to be empty, but when John looked a little closer, he saw little marks carved into the wall. John frowned. What could this mean? He quickly snapped pictures of all the markings and was ready to climb back down when he suddenly heard something that scared everything out of him. He heard a strange noise that sounded like whispers coming from the darkness. John's palms began to sweat and he felt his courage waning. But after standing there frozen for a few seconds, John realized it was just the wind blowing through the small opening in the door. He carefully laughed at himself and shook his head. I'm losing my mind, he thought. But as curious as he was, he knew he couldn't leave until he'd walked through the whole room. Despite his fear, John pushed forward. As he moved deeper into the darkness, he began to make out the outlines of strange shapes. John's heart was pounding in his chest and every inch of his body was telling him to turn around and go home. And after something strange brushed over his head, he couldn't take it anymore. John spun around ready to make a run for it, but his foot caught on something and he stumbled to the ground. His flashlight went flying out of his hand and landed somewhere in the darkness. John was completely disoriented and he couldn't see anything. He tried to get up, but he felt something pulling him back down. He struggled to free himself, but the thing was holding him tight. After yanking a few times, he finally felt the grip loosening, and he quickly got to his feet and sprinted towards his flashlight. As soon as he had the flashlight in his hand, he turned around and shone the light on the thing that grabbed him. But he realized quickly what was going on. John got startled by loose hanging vines. He'd gotten tangled in them and imagined them to be something they were not. John sighed as he walked closer to the door. It was time for him to go. He didn't want to stay in this room for a second longer. As John stepped out of the room, he realized the sun had started to set. He had to get down as fast as possible. He wanted to get his computer to research the strange markings, but at first he had to climb all the way down. 
John looked over the edge and suddenly felt a wave of anxiety passing through him. He got down on his hands and knees, turned around to face the mountain and carefully dangled his legs over the edge looking for a stone to stand on. But when he finally reached a stone and started to put his weight on it, the stone fell and John almost lost his grip. This was harder than he thought. John quickly pulled himself up again. There had to be a way off his mountain but climbing down it didn't seem the best one. He had to think of another way and fast. Then suddenly he noticed his drone on the ground. Maybe if he tied a note around his drone he could fly to his town. His tactic worked. Not long after a rescue team arrived and they brought John safely down the mountain. As soon as John was home he researched the markings and realized he had discovered something very special. They were ancient artifacts from a civilization long forgotten. John got a reward for finding the room. The end.